Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your political news roundup for Thursday, May 17th. President Obama has a busy few days and they won't involve the campaign for re-election, at least not directly. The president plays host at Camp David to meetings with leaders of the top eight world democracies. Expect the ongoing economic troubles in Europe to be the lead topic at those meetings which take place tomorrow and Saturday. After that, it's on to Obama's native hometown city of Chicago. That's where leaders of NATO will gather. In addition to Europe, that group is likely to focus on the pullout of NATO troops from Afghanistan. There is a political backdrop. Republican challenger Mitt Romney is accusing Obama's policies of leading the U.S. down the same government spending path as Greece. In Chicago, police are gearing up for what they suspect will be major protest demonstrations at the NATO summit. Thousands of protesters are expected. Some have already been demonstrating against heavy government spending on war and in favor of taxes on big Wall Street transactions. The city has assigned 3,100 police officers for security in and around the summit, and it's warning residents of what it says will be massive travel disruptions. Mitt Romney was not far behind President Obama when it came to campaign fundraising last month. His latest filing showed Romney and the Republican National Committee raised $40.1 million in April. Earlier this week, Obama and the Democratic National Committee reported the collection of $43.6 million. Romney began raising funds jointly with the Republican Committee after Ron Paul, the last of the major candidates challenging Romney for the Republican nomination, dropped out of the race. And for the first time since 2006, the Federal Reserve Bank Board of Governors is full. The Senate confirmed Harvard economist Jeremy Stein and investment banker and lawyer Jerome Powell. Both were nominated by President Obama. Action on the nominations might have been triggered by the trading losses reported by J.P. Morgan Chase. Republican Senator David Vitter of Louisiana had been holding up the nomination for months. He claimed the men would have been rubber stamps for the policies of the Obama administration and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. That's your political news roundup for Thursday, May 17th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and financial news all day long.